Hello, hello. I am the Mai here with my good friend X Columbine, aka Boston's Big Sexy. Introduce yourself, Columbine. What's up, everybody? It's your boy X Columbine here. John, thanks a lot for the commentary. I really appreciate it. Be good to be back, you know, recording, get my thing doing. All right. So tell me, Columbine, what are we watching? We are watching me on free for all with an AK, and I'm just murking people. Murking people? I like murking people. Was this dual mags? The dual mags on the AK-74 Mini Uzi. AK-74 Mini Uzi? What? Mini, Mini, Mini U, whatever the fuck it's called. No. <laughs> okay, there. I take it you're not using sleight of hand, though. No. You're moving kind of slow. Yeah, because I got a, uh, the, the dual mags does it by himself there. It's an old video, but I got, I actually got this from Hutch, no fanboy intended. And I thought it was a good idea because the dual mags are actually pretty fast after that first reload comes out. So I figured why have sleight of hand when it's already fast enough. True, true, it is fast, but I prefer it with, I, I don't know, I just, I get freaked out if I don't have sleight of hand. I, I, I just, when it reloads slow on me, I lock up, I don't know what to do. Already got the SR-71 there moving fast. Yes. Moving real fast at 9. Yeah. 9 and 0. Oh. Kids running around corners not knowing what to do. Yeah, they're, they're all random, so I, except for one of my friends who is also a random. So I start the game 10 and 1, which isn't bad for me. I mean, that's not bad at all. No. Not a, not a player of much free-for-all. I played one game of free-for-all on Nuketown. I used a Mac 11 and won. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I almost got a triple spray. Almost. Only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. We have hand grenades. We also have Mac 11s. Yeah. So, <laughs> Modern Warfare 3, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? It, well, what I think is going to happen is it's going to probably hype, be hyped up like MW2 was. Oh, well, it's a Call of Duty game. Of course it's going to be hyped up. Oh, yes, obviously. But I'm hoping that it's actually pretty decent. Not just for sniping, all around gameplay base, meaning the M16 doesn't take one burst to kill people. The shotgun isn't recalculous like it was in... <laughs> Uh, not MW2. Was it MW2? Yeah, the model. It was MW2 before the patch. The, the 1887s, which were absolutely ludicrous. Although that was probably what a shotgun would do to you in real life. Yes, it would. But they got to fix the, um, the engineering, which means that the gameplay, when you go behind a corner, and like if you just saw that, he was already around the corner, and somehow he was on my screen. They got to yeah, fix that. the hitboxes. Yeah. It's just. It, it, that stuff gotta stop when you run around the corner and they're they're already shooting at you and you're in your screen you're behind the wall but they still kill you. I know I know exactly what you mean. That happens to me at least seventeen times on a daily basis on Black Ops. At least. At least seventeen. So what are and impressions? Another thing that I I'm hoping they fix are the knives. Every Call of Duty game, the knives have been absolutely ridiculous. Be it COD Four with the inability to knife anyone. Or Modern Warfare 2, where you can jump across a map and stick a blade in someone's throat. Yes. They're, they're just all... Black Ops was close. Black Ops is as close as it gets to good knives. Yeah. They, what, I, what I like about Black Ops is it's... I like the knifing feature in World at War, which they bring to this, which was awesome. The one thing that sucked in Modern Warfare 2 it was the, the that, that lunge was so unstoppable. Halo-esque. Yeah, Halo-esque. And it was, it's it's stupid, but yet it's, you know, if you lunge at somebody and you shoot them while they're lunging, they should die, not go through the bullets. <laughs> which this is that true. happens in this game too, which I think they need to fix, but... Oh, there's a heart. There's a heart in your reticule. Is that for me? No, yeah, you can have it if you want. You can, you know, but oh, it, I picked it up. Not for me. Awkward draw. All right. Some little... <laughs> <laughs> you, you just died there. Yes. I'm going to point that out. Yeah. As you but, shoot me down and crush so, my dreams. So what's the deal, John? What, what, what are your impressions of, a, um, of MW3? I don't know. I feel like there's really good potential that it could end up like Modern Warfare 2 and just be where trick-shooting whores hang out and do nothing but jump off of buildings and spin around 38, 7 million times and shoot once. And if that happens, I'll be really, really almost all right with it. I mean, I'm going to play it either way, because let's be honest, it's a new COD game, and all of us 
are little fanboy junkies on the inside. This is true. This is true. The one thing I don't know about, though, is this whole Call of Duty Elite thing that they're talking about, which is it's going to be offered for free, but there's going to pre be a premium version where you can pay a monthly subscription fee that is going to be quote-unquote comparable to other services of that nature. And I just, oh, look at that. You won. That's, that's, you just went 30 and 5. That's a 6 KD ratio. Good job. Thank you. And I got a booty on my gun. Oh, you do? And it matches your camo? Look at you all color coordinating. Yeah, I learned that in elementary school. I didn't. <laughs> Connection interruption. Well, yeah, that was basically it. I mean, besides enough enough said with the uh, Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that, it's been fun, John. It has been fun. And um, that was Columbine. We just watched him do really well in free-for-all on Black Ops there. And we talked about some Modern Warfare 3. I'm I'm the Mai. Until next time, stay sexy.